<clears throat> Good morning, Desktop Dad here. I'm going to deal with importing audio CDs into iTunes this morning. First thing we need to deal with is the settings in iTunes itself. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here we are. We're in the, in the iTunes. Uh, let me open up iTunes here. We're going to deal with the settings in here in order to get our audio book from our CDs into iTunes. We're going to go to iTunes Preferences. And we're going to deal with the General tab. And down here where it says when you insert a CD, you want to make this to Ask to Import CD. And you want to go to Import Settings and make sure it's set up at AAC Encoder and iTunes. You want to make sure that this automatically retrieved CD track names from internet is not checked. Not checked. You're going to say OK. Now you're going to be able to insert your CD and begin. I've inserted my CD with my audiobooks on it. And the first thing I'm going to see are questions. It asked me if I would like to import my CD audio CD into my iTunes library. Now here's my iTunes library up here. And yes, I actually would, but I'm going to say no. I see and that seems to be counterintuitive, but say no, please. I'm going to go up here to, to edit and I'm going to say select all. It selects all of the tracks. I'm going to go to advance and say join these tracks. And you'll see it actually has a line here between the, the tracks saying that it joined. I'm going to go back to Advanced and say Create AAC version. Now I get a little icon here that says something's happening. And that what's happening is it is importing this already. It tells me how much time is, is uh, remaining and how quickly it's importing them. I'm going to go over here to my library and look at music. I'm going to scroll to the top and I'm going to see that my audio CD is, shows up here. There's no information and it's grayed out. And until it's finished, we're not going to be able to do anything to it. So we'll deal with that shortly. Now you can see that uh, the um, CD has completed loading. It's named Audio CD. And also you'll see again that this artist's uh, column is reversed from Z to A instead of A to Z. It has blank sections here, and we'd like to keep these blank for a while. So what we're going to do is name this audio CD. We're going to select this. We're going to do a right click, and we're going to name it. This is this uh, CD set is called the Portrait. I'm going to call it just Portrait, and I'm going to number it zero one. And I'm going to number it zero one. I do all my single digits numbers begin with with zero, it'll help them uh, organize better. And I'm also going to select this and uh, I'm going to copy that first name there. We'll use it later. I'm just going to say OK. You see now it is uh, named and we're going to eject this CD and we're going to put another one in. I've inserted my second CD in. Uh, when it loads, we'll follow the same procedure that we did for the first CD. Uh, we'll tell it not to automatically import it into our library. Say no. We'll say select all of these tracks. We'll say to join these tracks through advanced join CD tracks. And again advanced to create AAC version. And again it's importing. We can see the importing time left. And go here. And as we look at the top, we have the audio CD grayed out. It's importing and portrait one above it. Uh, when we get all five of these loaded on, we'll finish and I'll show you the next step. I need to show you that as the uh, um, CD is loaded onto here, and remember before we went into here and uh, selected this and I had you copy this. Well, I copied that, so how do I use that? Well, when I come down here, and this is 
this is bold faced again. I can select this, say this, and then I can just do do my paste right here and and alter the number and say OK. And now when we scroll up, you see that that's all here. So that's how that works. We'll go all the way through till this five, and then we'll continue. All right, my uh, fifth audio CD has finished. It's here. It's uh, bold faced. It's ready to uh, for me to give it a name. I'm going to give it uh, uh, Portrait Five. I'm going to say OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shift click from five to one and choose all these together. I'm going to do a right click and get say Get Info. I'm going to say Yes that I want to edit multiple items. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in the name of the artist. And I'm going to type in the name of the album, which is called Portrait. No numbers after it. I'm going to come down here to Genre and I'm going to choose Books and Spoken. Now you could choose audiobooks if you wanted to, but I like books and spoken. And lastly, I'm going to come up here and choose options, and I'm going to make this part of a compilation. You could put Gapless album if you want. Uh, sometimes they overlap more than what I like. I'm going to say OK. Now you see all five of these have been filled in. They have the same artist. They have the same portrait. Uh, it knows it's part of a compilation. I'm going to eject my disk, and I have a completed uh, set of CDs that I now can import to my iPod.